making today a first alert action day because this could impact any of your outdoor plans later on today. So for today, showers are expected in the afternoon and evening and snow already hitting our local mountains this morning. For tomorrow, we get a brief break in the rain before it moves back in after dark. And then Monday, even more showers expected. But hey, overcast conditions early this morning with this live look. We are looking at a beautiful sunrise, although it is a bit ominous out there. The overcast conditions expected to continue through the rest of your late morning as well. Here's a look at your current satellite and radar. We are seeing some light showers moving through just south of Laughlin. Most of the action happening right now through northern and central California, but this expected to head our way later on today. We are going to see some light showers right now moving through our local mountains. We mentioned snow happening for Lee Canyon, Mount Charleston, a winter storm warning in place there by this afternoon. We'll have more details in just a few seconds, but until then, I wanted to show you the future cast models showing when we can expect to see these showers arrive. This is a look at future cast models showing 2 p.m. More widespread light rain expected to move across the valley. We could see some pockets of heavier rainfall, especially through the Colorado River Valley. We expect to see that clear out in the overnight hours, waking up to some clearer conditions on your Sunday for a brief break in the rain. If you have any outdoor plans, we will still be dealing with some breezy conditions before the rain is expected to move back in Sunday night into our Monday. And with this snow is going to be a big impact here. The winter storm warning in place today at noon until tomorrow at 4 p.m. One to two feet of snow expected above 7,000 feet. Under 7,000 feet, we could see 5 to 10 inches and wind gusts up to 45 miles per hour. So when you're looking at that much snowfall, plus the blowing snow and the ice potentially on the roads, it creates some really dangerous travel conditions. National Weather Service saying if you have mountain plans, consider rescheduling them for a later date because driving will be really dangerous up for our mountains. Temps right now in the valley starting in the 40s, so it's a cold start. Later on today, we are expecting to see mid to upper 50s. Winds right now picking up to 13 miles per hour for Nellis Air Force Base and already a gusty day up for Mount Charleston, nearing 30 miles per hour. Planning out your day, we are warming into the mid-50s by 11 a.m. and upper 50s hitting this afternoon. That's when the wind starts and that's when the rain starts. So we'll see those temps tumble back into the low to mid-50s tonight as we watch the rain continue in those late night hours. And then tomorrow, we mentioned we have a bit of a break. We'll start your day in the 40s, hitting the mid-50s by around 4 p.m. And once sun sets, that's when we expect to see the rain moving in for Martin Luther King Jr. Day. It is looking likely that we will see those showers moving in at least by the afternoon. We're pairing that with some breezy conditions as well. Gusts to 20 to 25 miles per hour and the rain chances continue through your Tuesday morning before we dry out and see temps fall back into the low 50s towards the end of the week. Rachel.